Good afternoon. Welcome to episode 536. Yes, 536. And the topic today is home for the holidays. Good luck. Um, basically going to unpack some things that might be happening this week for you since this is the week of Thanksgiving. But before I jump into that, let me introduce myself. My name is Barry Selby. I'm a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert. And I help strong, successful women attract and create balance in life, love, and business. I'm also a passionate champion of the Divine Feminine. And for the last almost two years, because next month will be two-year celebration, I guess, anniversary, I do these talks every day called Messages from the Masculine, Inspiring the Feminine Heart. And today's topic is kind of timely because this week is Thanksgiving, Thursday in fact. So this is now Monday, in case you're wondering schedule-wise. This is a Monday broadcast, so in three days, a lot of people will be going home for Thanksgiving if not already home already this week. And <laughs> this can be a very challenging time for people. Um, to quote John Bradshaw, he said many years ago, um, who's written many books on, on therapy and family dynamics and, and birth order, all sorts of stuff. He said, if you think you're evolved, go home for Thanksgiving. And that's kind of what I want to talk about because if you're going, I do on a couple of levels. One is the single and relationship level and one's on the political viewpoint level because these are two big juicy topics that are really going to be challenging for you if you're going home for Thanksgiving. So, and so this is particularly relevant to the American viewers. If you're watching from overseas, um, this may have no relevance to you, although it might have bearing in other times, like Christmas, for example. So, coming home for the holidays brings with it <laughs> many possibilities of interaction and sometimes conflict. For example, if you haven't been home for several years and you're going home for Thanksgiving, it might be a wonderful reunion and homecoming, or it might be, where the hell have you been? You know, there's, there's a range there. So, in the area of relationship, if you're going home single and you've been single for a few years and you're going home for Thanksgiving single once again and you're getting that pressure put on you by your parents or your elder siblings or your whoever it is saying, well, when are you going to get married? Where's the one you're going to get married to? Why are you still single? That's sort of crap. And it is crap to be blunt. Um, I'm going to use some solutions on how to deal with that. On the flip side, if you're going home with somebody you're in a relationship with for the first time and you're going to meet the parents there can be a lot of pressure on them and that's a whole nother I mean I almost do separate broadcasts on this one but I'll start with those two so going home when you're single and you haven't got a relationship or you're going home for the first time since you got divorced or broken up since that relationship there's going to be questions that come up this is the way parents are <laughs> if you're a parent you understand this if you have parents, you, you understand this too. So you're going to feel, I would suggest, a sense of scrutiny. <laughs> I'm going to say Spanish Inquisition, but I'll be pushing extremes, but it feels like that sometimes. There's this level of scrutiny on what, whatever range, particular place on the relationship spectrum you are. Single, divorced, broken up, in relationship, almost uh, newly married, because um, if you're married, there's going to be the pressure about when you're going to have kids. Often, if you're young, if you're in that time frame, you know, in the twenties and thirties, so it almost doesn't matter what part of the relationship spectrum you're in. In this conversation, going home to your parents for Thanksgiving, if it's the first time something's changed, this is the thing. Well, see, the first thing time something's changed, like you've gone from single to relationship, or from relationship to single, or it's one that's been a long time coming, where you're finally with somebody or you're finally, get, um, you, you've been married for a while and there's been no kids. There's this invasive, and it is the word invasive, question that comes from one of your parents, usually one or not the other, like when are you gonna have kids or when are you gonna be in a relationship or how long has this been going on for or are you gonna treat my daughter, son the right way? All these different questions, and lots, of, lots of challenges. What I'm attempting to say here is there's a lot of temptations to get knocked off center because what they want to know comes out of love, but comes through <laughs> often challenging behavior and, and challenging in, um, inquiry as well. So my question or my invitation to you is, actually my suggestion to you, is how do you stay centered? 
how do you stay calm and how do you stay present with yourself when faced with these challenging questions? Hang on, I've got a, I've got a fork in the road happening here. Like, do I, do I want to solve that one or go to the other one on the political side? I'll stick to this one for now. I might do politics tomorrow. Maybe it doesn't fit today. We'll see. So, the biggest... The biggest piece I want to say is when you go... When, when, if you haven't gone home yet, if you're still... I mean, if you're still where you live and you're still doing your life, you are who you are. Now, if you're carrying a sense of... of um, if you're carrying questions yourself about what your relationship status is or isn't, that's one thing. If you're fine with it, so I'm going to subdivide this. Okay, it's going to go that way. If you're going to subdivide this into um, when you're, yeah, okay, it's got it. So in your life, if you're fine with what's going on in your life, like your inner relationship is going great, or if you're single, it's going great. Or if you're with your partner and you're not ready to have kids and that's all fine and it's all great. And then when you go home to the family, when all the interrogation begins, you get knocked off center. That's an indication that you may not, you may need to look at your own um, sense of self in a way. Because the temptation, no, excuse me, back up. The reality is you are okay with what you believe, yet your family knocks you off. That's because they still have a back door into your psyche that you have no control over. So that's a homework assignment for you, by the way. I get to that in a moment. If, on the other hand, you're not settled at home where you are, you don't know about your relationship, you're wishing you were in one, or you had a recent breakup, or you're wishing that you had kids with your partner, when you go home, that'll be exacerbated by the inquiry from your, from your parents and from the people at home. Now, I need to give a, a sidebar for a second because from, I would say for them, well, I don't have the proportions, so I, don't, I can't give you numbers on this, but for a lot of families, this is, on the, this, is a, this is a different conversation. For a lot of families, it's all fine, it's loving, it's kind, it's great. But the temptation is very much in there for most families to have a deeper conversation, shall we say. And so the context of interrogation, almost, as I mentioned, that's to find out from you what isn't working and why, you are, why it isn't working. First of all, the simplest response is it's none of your business. Because if you're living away from home and you're coming home to see family, what you do with your life is up to you, not them. And one of the biggest challenges we fall into is when we go home to see family again, we revert to somebody when we revert to a seven-year-old. And you understand that, I'm sure. When you remember going for Thanksgiving, how oftentimes when you go back, you suddenly feel like you're seven, eight years old again with your parents. And you're like, what happened? Because you may have gone back to the family where it's the same house you grew up in, staying in your old room. Probably not, but it could be like that. So environmentally, it's giving you some challenges, but certainly personality-wise, that's the challenge. Your parents haven't seen you evolve and grow up and recognize you at that level. More often than not, they're still holding on to you as a younger person. So there's this protective, loving belligerence they carry about you. So it's not antagonistic, it's not meant to be negative, it's not meant to be derogatory. It's at a concern. So. Yes, saying you mind your own business is one thing, but on the other side of it is they would like to know because they care about you. So then the question becomes, how do you give them satisfaction and make them feel better without making yourself feel like you have to expose everything? The best thing you can do is tell the truth, as simple as it sounds, because it's so tempting to give them, um, to placate them with, with Declarations of things that you may or may not do that will make them happy. But the reality is, it's better to be honest with them because then there's nothing to hide. And I've had this conversation before about being honest in different circumstances, not this one, but hopefully this will be of use to you. The dance with going home at Thanksgiving is a mixture of elation and challenging, or actually elation and fear at the same time for a lot of people. It's great to go see family, it's exciting, it's wonderful to go see family, and it's like, oh crap, you're going to see family and Uncle Joe or, or, you know, or, or Mum or whatever it is in the family that gives you pause. So my suggestion, my invitation to you 
Hang on, I'm trying to sneeze. It's coming. No, it's not. <laughs> Attempting to sneeze, not working. All right. So. Got it. When you take yourself home for Thanksgiving, I'm not actually going to say this in a way that lands. I keep, I, what, I keep, what I want to say is, is focus on yourself first, meaning that when you go home for Thanksgiving, you keep your boundaries clean and you take care of yourself by putting yourself first. You may need to dive into the bathroom at some point to look in the mirror and breathe and love yourself again, because that can be the challenge. But staying true to yourself and staying clear with your with your own um, perspective. So if there's questions asked of you that don't fit, you can say no, or just simply just like you know move on to something else or or challenge back. The thing about going home for Thanksgiving is you have to remember that who you are going back to Thanksgiving isn't who was there last time. Who you are now ideally, has evolved, has grown, has changed, has transformed, maybe aged a year or two since the last time you were back. So remember when you go back that who you are is still this person, not the one that was there last time. That and staying in the truth and keeping your boundaries healthy are the three things I recommend most um, simply as a way to stay true to yourself and actually have a good Thanksgiving. So with that, um, well, I did just send an email to my, um, my audience today with a couple of things they want about the self-love practice, which I'll put in the comments again. Because if you're going home for Thanksgiving, tuning up on your self-love is, <laughs> is a very smart move. So I'll put the link for that in the comments again as a reminder so you can get that started right away. So when you're going home, you've already got some practice going. The second thing is um, I have a few invitations I put out to my list, which you're interested. if you're interested in finding out, I've got some holiday specials going on right now because it is you know Black Friday's coming up. I had to do something. So I put out some holiday specials, three of them actually, no, f four of them, five, four of them actually. So if you're interested in those regarding coaching and my online program, um, it's not on my website, you won't see it there. You have to reach out to me and, and you can send a message over social media and I'll give you links to that. Um, but again, surf love, boundaries, remembering your age <laughs> in a good way are three good things to go and to be about when you go back as well. So take care of yourself. Have a great time when you go home for Thanksgiving. I may talk about this tomorrow. I'm not sure yet because I'm still going to talk about the political piece because that's a juicy one too. But really take care of yourself when you go home for Thanksgiving. It's a wonderful time. It can be a challenging time and it's family time. So um, have a good one. Simply as that. Thanksgiving is an interesting time for a lot of people and if you go home for Thanksgiving it can be fraught with challenges and it can be filled with love. Either way can be fun if you do it the right way. With that, thank you for watching. Um, this is my Facebook Live, by the way. If you haven't seen me before, I do this on every every um, every day, 5 p.m. Pacific time. Um, Thanksgiving might be changing because I'm going to be with friends. But I'll tell you about that when we get to it. So join me again tomorrow, 5 p.m. Pacific time, for my usual daily broadcast. Um, that'll be 560, whatever it is, 5.37. That is the one I think it is. And uh, so again, first bit live first, then onto YouTube, and then on my podcast. And so I'll give you the links for those so you can watch the replays on my business page on Facebook. It's barryselby.author. Also onto YouTube, where it's uh, Barry Selby is my channel because all my social media is my name. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel and then you can get to messages from the masculine playlist. Watch those there. And then on my podcast, it's called messages from the masculine. Where you can subscribe to that, download them there as well. Um, thank you for watching. Thanks for being with me. Take care of yourself. Enjoy the turkey or whatever you have when you get to Thanksgiving. Um, and if you're from other countries, you won't know what I'm even talking about, which is fine. So I appreciate you being with me. I will see you again tomorrow at 5 p.m. Take care. Bye.